Baseball was released on the NES on October 18th of 1985. The game was developed by Nintendo R&D 1 and is published by Nintendo. The game is often credited as one of the games that made the NES a success due to the universal appeal of the sport of baseball. As with any other baseball game, the goal of the game is to score the most runs during 9 innings. This is done by having the most offensive team's batters run around the three bases and eventually make it home. During each of the innings, you'll play as both offense and defense. When playing as offense, you'll mainly control the batter and attempt to make it around the bases to home plate. When playing as defense, you'll control the pitcher who throws the ball for the batter to hit. The game does have some depth with the pitching, with the ability to change the ball's curve as well as its speed by holding down the arrows on the D-pad. When playing defense, you're able to control the players in the infield, however if the ball is hit into the outfield, you really don't have any controls of the guys in the field. They run completely on their own and only once they've picked up the ball are you able to control where they throw it. While the game lacks any official licensing, the game has six teams that are differentiated by letters, which are meant to represent the Japanese Central League teams or the MLB teams, depending on the region you're playing the game in. The game has some interesting stuff going on with its graphics, despite how simple they are. The ball has some nice sprite scaling effects when you hit it into the air, and the game also features different sprites for both infield and outfield plays. The game's soundtrack, on the other hand, is completely lacking, and for the most part, the game is quiet, with the exception of a few fanfares the game will play. Overall, baseball is a very bare-bones baseball game, but it still has some nuance that adds to what little depth the game has. There isn't much to it, but there's enough charm there to make the game interesting. Where the game lacks in music, it makes up for in some early sprite scaling effects in its graphics. Baseball isn't really worth playing, other than for its notoriety for helping the NES have a successful launch in North America.